You want to go see Okubo, Yagami-san? Yeah. I wish you could come too, but civilians can't get that kind of clearance. It's okay. It is how it is. You ready to see Okubo? Yeah. It's time to clear the air. Yagami-san, can you give Okubo a message for me? Sure. What's up? Once he gets out, I want to go visit Emmy's grave with him. <laughs> That's a pretty big deal. There's a lot we have to take care of before we can even get to that, though. Yeah. Otherwise Okubo will get executed and never have his name cleared. We'll fix it. Don't worry. I hope you're right. We can't let him die in there. Agreed. I'll give him the message. Doing this. I don't believe this. You're serious? Yeah. He told us his name was Sugiura at first. Fumiakun. You know, I only met him once before Emmy's death. Both of us were a little shy, though, so. We didn't really talk. I can still remember how he glared at me during the trial. And how I couldn't even look him in the eye. By the way, he told me to tell you something. Huh? He said he wanted... He wants to visit Emmy's grave with you. I see. He really wants to do that? With me? Yeah. I'd like to take him up on that. Ayabe's trial is coming up. We're gonna snare the guy behind 89. A man from the Ministry of Health by the name of Ichinose. Can you do it though? For real? Yeah. The prosecutor's on my side, too. Ichinose won't stand a chance. I'll tell them you're innocent, too. I gave up on that a long time ago. I thought no one would hear me. No matter how loud I scream. I thought I'd die branded a murderer. But if Fumiakun understands, maybe there's still a chance. 
If the guy who hated me most forgives me, maybe everyone else will too. I'll get you out of here. I promise.